Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Griffin with the Storm and the Gust weapon. So essentially, a Griffin with a shotgun build. I did do a video on the Golem uh, with the Thunder, the Storm and the Gust weapons and that was uh, pretty deadly as well. I'm trying to see if I can perhaps uh, stop some of these players going into uh, the gap here. Get a few good shots on them. Now this isn't beacon rush, it's domination mode, so I'm not too uh, worried if they get that uh, beacon there on the left side. It's going to help my uh, team get uh, this beacon here. So uh, just help my buddy so that we can change it a lot quicker. And that's another tip for uh, newer players. If uh, you have multiple players at a beacon, uh, you change it a lot quicker. I'm going to see, what is this player in? Okay. I'm going to most likely bring out, um, you know, that... Oh, this guy's got the storm on there. Got to be careful of that. Can't go too close to him. I'm going to bring out the griffin when I need to defend um, a really small area. I better help uh, my teammate here. I just noticed he went in alone. And uh, he's getting hit by the Kumiho with storm. If I can get a couple of shots in on this Kumiho. I think he's lost a weapon though, so... I can get around here quick enough. Should be able to help him. Oh jeez, this guy's gonna take me out. I'm getting hit multiple areas here. Oh jeez. So you know, I'm looking at what the players have. There's a lot of uh, lance slots, which I think is gonna be great uh, for this Griffin. So if I can get in between that gap there, uh, this build I think can do a lot of damage. Um, it's essentially like a death button griffin although I think you need to get a little bit closer. Um, you obviously don't have splash damage either which is um, a bit of I guess a downside uh, to this build but I actually feel that it can do a lot of damage if you can get up close and uh, by that I mean you know within 100, 100 meters or so. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And they are players uh, pushing into this gap area, so that's uh, just perfect uh, for this build. And uh, there's another one there. Let's uh, go ahead and see if we can attack this guy. Let's see how quickly we knock down that shield. And boom, that should do it. Man, that's, uh, that's really deadly. This guy's looking at me wondering, what the heck is that? Yep, I know, it looks weird, but it can do a lot of damage. Watch out, we've got a guy, a couple of players back here. gonna knock that shield down and uh, we're gonna walk through and just take this guy out just saving up as well I'm not gonna hit this guy just yet because you know what he fired all his Orkins and uh, let's take him out with this as well so very deadly as you can see I'm a bit exposed here because I was trying to get this beacon a lot of players are back there but I just wanted to show you guys you know the potential of that build and I did run, you know, a couple of games uh, earlier using uh, that Griffin, and I did really, really well with it as well. So I think this game is a bit better. So I'll be using a uh, footage of this. Come on, fire! There's a hover right in the air there. So yeah, I think you could do actually a lot of damage with, you know, multiple Griffins loaded up like that. Uh, there's going to be an Inquisitor here jumping. You sh should be seeing him. I think he's gonna he's gonna probably try to attack uh, this other inquisitor that just jumped So he's probably gonna be jumping as uh, soon. I would imagine Or maybe not We need to get another beacon though. I'm just looking down below. Uh, there is a player down below that is gonna be getting that beacon, but I gotta watch out for this inquisitor because I'm expecting uh, him to sort of jump and attack me here I can help my uh, teammate out from this side, that would be good. We should be hit by that Inquisitor soon, to my right, in between the gap. Uh, this tech player here on the right side. So I'm just pushing this through here because my thinking is I will maybe get a zap in on him. Maybe he will jump and attack me and then my, my uh, teammate 
can uh, take him out. That way I sacrifice his fury and it doesn't go to waste. Uh, because <laughs> it's not that I'm trying to brawl with it. Um, we need beacons and I generally don't like running a fury or some kind of range bot on this map. Unless, you know, it's a fury with embers or something. Ooh, jeez, I got hit bad there. He's going to try to dash across. So, you know, I did manage to get um, a pretty good hit uh, on him, I think. And I think we're doing pretty good on beacons here. We've got four, so that's good. Just need to move closer to this gap area here because um, it looks like this player is going to be getting uh, this beacon if we don't stop him. There we go. He didn't get that, so that's good. And now I'm going to push uh, in between the gap here. Make sure that we get uh, this beacon. And that should be five beacons, actually. Yeah, that should put a lot of beacon pressure on the other team. So I think what I'm going to do is, because this game was relatively short, I'm going to try run maybe another game. And we can try to see how much damage we can do with that griffin. And the nice thing about that build is, first of all, the Griffin is silver. Um, the Storm and the Gust weapons actually don't really take that long uh, to get. Even though they, it is like components, it doesn't take that long to get. Um, my Gust weapons, you know, I was... There were a couple of uh, times where I opened like, you know, the, um, the bronze chest. And I would get like 300 or whatever Gust components. So it's definitely... Uh, not that hard of a setup uh, to get and uh, of course the griffin is cheap so you know why not so for those players out there if you can't actually afford uh, you know the orkin if it's taking you too long to get like orkin panatas uh, the gust and the storm might be another option uh, that you might want to consider so uh, this game should be ending uh, soon and uh, after this i'm gonna roll another game and uh, we can try to see if we can get some better footage maybe on a more open map because um, that way we can see the range you know what kind of range are we dealing with uh, can you take down a player from say 300 meters away you know how much damage do these uh, storms and the gust do okay so let's go ahead and uh, let's play uh, game number two Okay, so game number two, we have dropped in on Dreadnought map, and this is Beacon Rush. So I'm going to try to see if I can get uh, to this right beacon uh, quickly. Oh man, I hate when the uh, Kumiho stumbles like that. That really needs to uh, be fixed. If I can get to this beacon, um, I know I'm going to get hit by shock trains here, but if I can get uh, to this beacon uh, quickly, you'll be able to uh, spawn in uh, from this location. And I think when it comes to actually defending a beacon, that's when I will be dropping in with that Griffin, Storm and Gust Bull. I'm just trying to fire at uh, this player here, just to try to be annoying uh, to him. He's going to try to fire at me. And uh, I'm saving up my dash so that I can get closer and closer to him. And every time he tries to uh, hit me, I'm going to <laughs> be uh, pushing him off here. Get that damage in on him so that we eliminate that threat. And I'm going to move uh, closer and closer to uh, this other side here. And it looks like is one of our beacons being threatened here. Maybe this one. Now that I'm out of that bot, I just wanted to get out of that bot just so that I can eventually uh, start to play that uh, griffin. I'm looking to see where everyone is uh, positioned on the map because right now we do have uh, three beacons. And they are sort of rotating around the uh, central beacon there. There's a lot at beacon E as well. But I'm looking at their positioning on the map. And I think I'm going to spawn in at this location uh, with my griffin. And let's see if we can perhaps take uh, this griffin out here 
I've got to be careful though because I'm not sure who's uh, behind that hill there. Gonna try to see if I can perhaps knock down that Hitchy's uh, shield. Yeah, this Griffin's gonna jump. He's gonna try to take me out. So you saw how quickly I was able to knock down that shield and uh, strip him of his uh, weapons. I need to try see if I can get closer to the center beacon here. I'm noticing they don't have a lot of players. Okay, there's four. Um, another one just dropped in. Five. Trying to see where this player is. We have another player that is uh, moving in in front of me there. We got to be careful of. And a few that are pushing uh, this beacon on the side here. So I don't think I'm going to be able to take on three players. Just trying to scan to see what they're in. Okay, so this is at 474 here. So uh, just on the outskirts of 500 meters, I'm trying to see if I can perhaps hit that Fury back there just to strip them of uh, some of their weapons. Got to turn around here to see what's going on as well. We have a player who just captured the center beacon once again. Going to try see if I can perhaps take this player out here from above. Wow, we are losing our beacons. I'm going to see if I can perhaps move down below here uh, because this other player is going to try to defend it. So I'm hitting this player from above with the storm and the gust weapons. You can see how quickly it's firing and stripping this player of their weapons. And I think, yeah, we are going to, we're going to need to uh, drop down here and get uh, this beacon. Try to see if I can get as close as possible. Uh, but definitely does a lot of damage. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to drop in with my Fury here. See if we can perhaps get uh, the center beacon. We need another beacon fast. I think, are we getting another beacon uh, center? I'm just going to walk in with my Fury at this point uh, because... You know, we're down on beacons and we definitely don't want them to get that center too. Because if they get that center here, then that's going to be four beacons on us. So I'd rather push aggressively, get a beacon, get out of this range, and then that way I can get into uh, my Inquisitor or my Balkazari. Oh man, I wasn't able to get that. I was hoping that my teammates... We will encourage them to uh, go into a center and get it. We're getting close though. Uh, there's a player, two players now hovering around uh, C. So if we can get that, I will drop in uh, with my... Actually, let's drop in here. Let's take this griffin out first. Maybe we can push uh, this beacon. I fired at my uh, teammate. Hoping that he would uh, follow through and he would uh, support me in this push for this beacon here. So I'm taking a bit of a chance. Anyone can drop in. Okay, so we managed to get our home beacon back finally. It is now 5 versus 4. Let's see if I can perhaps lock onto this player. Okay, 
him out. There's another one here. I'm going to lock onto this guy too. Take him out. Let's see if we can perhaps move in towards center. We need another beacon fast. Um, two and a half minutes. We can always see the beacon bar. It's not going down that fast, but we will need another one uh, to at least slow it down. And uh, the player on the left side should watch out uh, behind him there because I saw a player spawn in. Okay, this is looking good. I think we're going to have uh, four beacons on the other team. And they do have uh, two players left. Let's see if we can try to stop this player. Yeah, I'm going to get this beacon just in case. Um... <laughs> The other team's beacon bar is longer than ours, and this map is pretty wide open, so you don't want to just try to make the other team out. If you can try to get those beacons, even better. Just to be on the safe side. And uh, there we go. And uh, that should be enough beacons, I think, to deplete their beacon bar to the point where we will actually win. So let's see if we can try to get uh, this player here. It's going to evade some of his uh, shots and we are able to take him out. And that looks like that was the last two players. So I think this was another really good game. Um, sort of highlighting and showcasing the Griffin with the Storm and the Gust weapons. And uh, if you happen to run the Griffin with the Storm and the Gust weapons, uh, maybe not in Champion League, maybe in a lower league, let me know in the comment section below if that has been working for you because I definitely see um, a lot of potential in this build. You just have to be very careful of uh, getting a little bit too close and um, you know, being patient. It really is like playing a Death Button Griffin, um, but obviously you don't have the splash damage. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. And I guess until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.